Hey everybody, it's Sharon here with another Essential Stencil Live for you today. I hope you've been enjoying the Ambassadors Lives this week. They've been very exciting. Sorry, we just have to turn oh, the volume down on our other little lives that are going on. I watched Melissa's yesterday. Say hi if you're uh, coming in and you're coming on. Just let us know where you're tuning in from. Oops. Essential Stencil was live seven minutes ago. Hang on a second. Let me see if they're live now. Oh, yep, there we are. We're live. I'm on. <laughs> okay, Celia's on and you've even said hello. You're on your <laughs> phone. That's great. Okay, guys, I'm just going to share this with uh, my page. So if you have joined us for the first time, we're going to be doing some stenciling in a few minutes and we're going to be using these and this fun stencil set that I'll tell you all about in just a minute. But before we do, I just want to sprinkle the love out there in uh, Facebook land. Share in a group. I've got a group, guys. Did you know that? I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff. So that's where you'll find my page all over the social media places. So I've got a group called I Restore Stuff You Can Too. And what I mainly do is restore furniture and do painted furniture. But I also love to stencil furniture. So that's one of the things I do. And I do make home decor. And I love to use upcycled wood and upcycled pieces. Um, so just going to share that in my group, that we are live, share it on my page. You can share it with a friend. If you know someone, tag them, maybe. Um, where's my page? Share to a page. So how are you today? Hi, now I can see comments. Can you see comments there, Celia, while you're in there I behind can. the phone? That is great. So good you can see those today. We have Julie the... Watts from <clears throat> Baron Duda, Victoria. Yay, and Julie, thanks people. for watching. Magnolia, North Magnolia. Dakota, Magnolia. Michigan. Evening, Liz. Michigan, Michigan. Hi, everybody. Hi. So today's live. If you've been watching some of the ambassadors, we've had a really great fun week of gifting and some of them have been surprise gifting, secret Santa, porch giveaways, that kind of thing. I think we've had Amanda and Melissa go live so far this week. Melissa and Bucky went and gave a porch sign, front porch sign to a family and that was a fun live to watch. So if you missed any of those, jump back on the lives. You just go to the video section here on the Essential Stencil page and you can see some of those. Uh, last week, if you remember, I created a Santa snowman sign. Let me see. I was going to see if I could find it to actually show you what it looks like. Hang on a second. <clears throat> and if you remember that little Santa board, I said I was going to give it away to some children, fun children, a fun children's activity. Can you see this, Celia, if I show them this? Will that work? Mm -hmm. you can, yep, sure whoop. is. So you can have a little look at the Santa snowboard activity board that I made. So if you missed that live, you can jump back on the videos and see that one from last week. That was a lot of fun. So it was from the Stencil of the Month Club. So if you haven't joined that yet, just remember you can use my code IRESTOREStuff and get $5 off your first month for the Stencil of the Month Club. And that was a stencil that Grace designed for January. No, where are we? December. And um, so that was such a fun activity to do. You can actually create lots of stencils and signs with it, but I decided to laminate each of those little pieces that you can opt to put in for the snowman. And I laminated each of those so that you could make an activity board and dress your snowman in whatever way you can. So today I've wrapped that up in a little gift and with one of the gift tags that I made a couple of weeks ago on the live with a little message to say, Merry Christmas, I hope this Fun activity makes you feel cooler in our hot summer because in Australia where we are, summer's quite hot. Although today I must say, Queenslanders, we're saying yay for a cooler day today. So that's pretty excellent. It is. Um, oh, guys, you're watching from all over the place, all over the US. Um, okay, so the other thing that uh, I wanted to do today is talking about Secret Santa gifting. Um, I'm kind of hoping that this works, but here's the idea today for my live. While I'm stenciling, I'm going to go on with a stencil project. I've told you about our sand, uh, no, sand board, snowman board that I made last week. And you can join the Stencil of the Month Club up until December 20th, which is this Friday. So you have until this Friday, that's the cutoff day for receiving the snowman stencil set. Now it comes with 
three different stencils. Could you grab that one for me, Celia, please? I think it's over in the back there. Um, three stencil, it's a three pack, but you can also select to get an add-on, which is an extra bonus. That That's one? the snowman one. Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh. The other thing I want to do is do a surprise gifting for our courier guy. Can you see if that's him? Because I've, he's picking up a package today, but I've held it hostage. It's not him? Okay, so I'm just going to tell you about this really quickly. I'm super hoping that he arrives during our live because he comes and picks up deliveries for me because I sell retail some milk paint and fusion paint here in Australia. And so I'm always shipping things to customers all over Australia. So I have a package ready to send and usually I just leave it at the front door. He comes and picks it up and he brings packages to me. His delivery time is just like nothing else. He's so faithful. He's awesome. So I wanted to do a surprise sign gifting to him today. So I've held his package hostage so that he has to knock on the door. Hopefully he'll do that during the live. If not, I'm going to really try and videotape that so that I can post it here on the page later on. But here's the sign I want to give to my delivery Guy, and his name's Chris. So shout out to Chris, the courier, who does such a great job, um, not only at Christmas time, but all year round, delivering packages for me, uh, from me and to me through the courier system. So here's a Merry Christmas, and I've created this Christmas trees sign with a black background and a gorgeous stencil on the front. And I think part of it was missing. So there's, it thinks it says Farmhouse Fresh or Farm fresh on the top of the actual stencil. Did I put that here? No, I didn't. I left it. I put it over the top, over there somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I just you can use parts of stencils too. So there's another idea for you. Just put a back, black background and white on the stencil itself. Did my trees green. So you can see how I did that. And you can also see how I did these Christmas tags on another one of our lives there, which I also posted here in on the Essential Stencils page. There's the other tag, so that's going for that gift today. That's right before I mentioned that because I thought he'd turned up and we really want to catch him live. That would be fun if he came to pick up this package right when we're doing the live. Hope that's not in the way. Nope. So here's Grace's snowman stencil. It included, I'll just take it out really quickly to show you all of the things. So you've still got until Friday to grab this stencil set and it in Oh, hang on, that's not it. Sorry, it's the snowman one, which is the different one. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Down. Oh, possibly, or... I don't know where I would have had it. Yeah, we've got it. Any questions, just let me know in the, in the comments. <laughs> um, okay, so here is the snowman design, which comes with this basic snowman here and a Christmas tree and the beautiful saying on the top. So that's one part of the set. And then you've got the little pieces that go onto the snowman. If you've just joined us, I'm just showing you the stencil of the month club design for December. You've got all these little bits that go onto either, this is a shortened version of a snowman. So he's got just two balls of snow, whereas this guy's got three. So there's all sorts of different bits and pieces you can put on that. Oh, and there was an add-on, which is down there somewhere. I can't remember where that is. It's the, um, another beautiful saying that we're doing with the, with the snowman set. But there's an add-on that's got a lovely saying. It's probably about this high. And I can't remember what it is, but if you know something about letting your light shine. Um, so that's the star background that you can put on your snowman stencil also. Yep, that's the add-on right there that you can opt for if you're joining the Stencil of the Month Club. And this is beautiful Grace right here and her design. So this is awesome. A beautiful little write-up. And I get to design, and I already have. I think it's already at the manufacturer. I have to do the design for February, guys. So January is coming up, and then February will be my design. And I can't wait to show you that. So. And people are asking, when do the new stencils come out? And what's the next one going to be? <clears throat> For January, I don't know if we've announced the new ones. They'll post a post innocent on our page here uh, when they want to let you know what the January one is. But it is looking lovely, I can say that. And being January and close to February, you'll be wanting to make all your Valentine signs and things like that. So there's a little hint. There will be a bit of a Valentine's touch to it, and that's something I'll do. You'll love it. <clears throat> you will love it. 
So make sure you're following. If you go to Essential Stencils, little three dots above there, um, you click on the bell if you want to see lives first, if you want to get notifications that they've put a post up, go to your little links there and say you want to get all the notifications. All right. So, and don't forget that if you order anything from Essential Stencil, using my code iRestoreStuff, you get 10% off anything on and the link there's links to that in the description of our live here and thank you essential stencil they have let you know that there's two days left to get that exclusive snowman at stencil of the month club.com so all of the details are in those descriptions in the live and also in our comments there that essential are really helpful in following us in the lives and posting those comments there for you so thank you guys so much for joining <clears throat> all right so I've got a few, the other thing I'm doing today is I'm making some gifts for some friends. So if my friends are watching today, it may be you, it may not. <laughs> we'll see. Stop um, <clears throat> yeah, stop watching. These are just actual little uh, wood boards that I picked up from an Australian craft, craft store called Spotlight. So if you're in Australia, you'll find these at Spotlight in their crafting section. And they had a 30% off sale this week, so I just grabbed those from there. And you probably have similar kind of places, Hobby Lobby, wherever, that you can buy similar kind of things. So the stencil that I'm going to be working on today is the, it doesn't have a name, but it's the, uh, it's Bible verses, Micah 6 verse 8. Um, and it comes in a little three set. So the size of this is 6 inches by 6 inches. So in my supply list, which hopefully we'll get to you maybe in the comments somewhere, um, I've suggested that you get boards that are at least seven or probably eight inches would be a good size to get boards that are about eight inch square. So you could use these and I've discovered that you can use these probably a couple of ways. I like that they have the rope on the top here. They're quite deep. Um, but you could actually reverse that and put something on the inside, make it like a little shadow box, sit it on like a little shelf. You know, put something on it like a shelf there. Maybe if you were thinking Christmassy thoughts, you could put some of those little miniature trees or a little miniature nativity there. Mm. Something like that. <clears throat> and then uh, being a year-round sign, you flip it around and you can have your uh, verses on the other side. I like it. I do like also, if you've ordered from Essential Stencil before, they always come with a gorgeous how to create the stencils uh, instruction sheet right there. Um, but you'll also get all of those instructions by watching our lives and, show, and just watching the ambassadors that each, interestingly, have different techniques of stenciling, use different equipment, different things. Um, some prefer different methods than others. But you guys, I just encourage you to try them all and do what works for you. Do what you feel is best for your stenciling technique. So today, I've got a piece of paper. This is my offloading thing. Um, it's always good to offload your stencils. If you've learnt anything, you will learn that. Now, don't forget too, I forgot to mention that we will have some winners in today, today's live. Celia, my friend, is going to help me pick three winners today yep. to receive a stencil or some kind of merchandise from Essential Stencils. And if you win today, you'll just need to email them at support at essentialstencil.com to receive your prize. Let them know your details, where to send it to. Rightio, I'm using these Klingon brushes that are one of my favorites. And my trick is to, I use these for painting furniture and they're quite lovely and flexible. So to reduce their flexibility better for stenciling, I add a rubber band to the end of that. So I just wrap it around the top and the bristles become quite stiff and then a lot easier to use for stenciling. I'm not sure if this is, oh, it's not in the way. That's unusual. It just feels like it's in the way to me. Okay, so these, I thought we could, because the signs, the stencils come in a set of three, I thought these would look great. So it's from the Bible, Micah 6 verse 8, act justly. I think the next one is love mercy and walk humbly. So a great sayings, aren't they? Great things to live by. So let's go with the first one over here. And so today I'm just basically going to be showing you a basic stenciling technique 
Now this has got some actual ridges in the board here. So you may want to just kind of zoom in a little bit so that we can get down a bit closer mm. to the action. Are these stencils new? No, they're actually in the link that you will find. Oh, did we put a link in the comments? The in the supply link, mm -hmm. it might come up. Otherwise, yes. I'll just can find that for you, or maybe if Essential Stencil can find my link for the mm -hmm. Mica 6 verse 8 stencils, that would be great. Yep. There we go. And so, going to dip a little bit in here. I'm just saying, we're saying before about the ridges that we've got here. I don't know if I want to, I still have to center it, so that just is going to be a little bit weird. I might have to put that down because that verse is so tiny here. I don't know, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Zoom in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just into that there. I don't know, it's a bit hard to see white on white because the stencil's white. Mm -hmm. Or bring it up here. Mm -hmm. But then we've got ridges going across here and here. But that's not too bad. I like that. I think that's good. Yep, that works for me. <laughs> All right, it works well, for you. I'm the expert, <laughs> not. <laughs> All right, so listening out for our courier guy guys so just if you hear a knock on the door let me know so i've i've dipped my brush in the paint and i'm just using fusion mineral paints color ash today and it's a dark gray sort of a slate gray almost and what i do is i offload that as much as i can onto my paper until there's hardly any there it's almost we you'd call it a dry brush and then just doing little swirly motions. So the idea is if you're not, you've never stenciled before, let me know that in the comments. I'd love to hear who's never stenciled before and you're looking for some decent tips. We'll be able to show you those right here. Mm. And um, the idea is to not get it over the edge and someone's gonna ask me, why aren't you taping it down? I don't know, because I'm slack. There we go, that'll save my hand trying to strain and hold it. And I always like to tape it down in those sections where these letters are kind of close to the edge. So I'll do it there because those are close to the edge. Doing a little swirly motions and the, the trick is not to get what we call bleed under or bleed through. You don't want bleed of the paint to go underneath the stencil. So I'm just kind of doing little smudgy things here. Fusion, I'm not sure. That Fusion is um, sold by individual merchants and retailers, so you'd have to check for your local one to see if they individually have sales. So I sell it here in Australia. If you're in Australia, you can get it from my website, iRestoreStuff.com. Mm -hmm. If you're in Brisbane, you can find it at the Camp Hill Antique Centre where I have a booth mm -hmm. where I sell my furniture and my decor and signs. Okay, so just showing you that again, just swirling really tiny swirls. Now some people like to do a stippling method and that's fine too, you could do that. Because I bought these at the shop, I don't know what they painted them with, but it is quite a matte finish on these boards, which is perfectly good for stenciling on because the paint's gonna stick well to that. If you've got any stenciling questions, let us know. And remember, if you've just tuned in, we're doing a secret Santa gifting this week and gifting some. And you can do this with or without the extra little verse at the bottom. If you didn't want to add that, you could just leave that off. Um, secret Santa giftings this week with ambassadors at Essential Stencil. And already we've seen Amanda. You watch her live and you can see what, what she was gifting. Gorgeous porch signs, Bucky and Melissa went out in the snow guys i just can't even imagine we don't even get snow even in the winter here in queensland where i live uh, they went out in the snow and gifted a porch sign which they were hoping to be a surprise and a secret but they were home the people <laughs> were home so that was a fun one to watch if you want to go and see that you might just have to take a tissue it's lovely i love seeing people in the spirit of giving so i'd love to encourage you guys what are you going to gift this Christmas. Mm. Karen People says her brushes are starting to fray from stenciling. Oh, she yeah. might have to try fusion paint. 
She says, I use acrylic from the craft store, nothing fancy, mm. as most of us do. I offload, then don't seem to have enough on my brush. You seem to have plenty on your brush still. Yeah, mm. it may be the brush that she's using, not the paint. I don't know. Maybe um, if you do have natural bristle brushes, they will tend to... Is that him? Is that my career guy or is that Marty? He's in the van, so <laughs> might be my husband. False alarm, guys. Oh, it's the... Okay, come. This could be it, guys. Make sure it's focused on me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I hope it's Chris. Okay. Don't... Oh, quick. Oh, oh. I think it is. Yep, we're going. I just had to zoom out. To knock on the door. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a secret Santa gifting. Because I've got quick. a... Hang on, I'm coming. <sighs> it's Chris, guys. Chris. Hello, hello. You've got a package, right? Do you mind yes. being on, t on camera right now? No. That's I've got right. a special secret surprise for you because you're such an awesome oh, career. Awesome. That's Thank my you. package. I wave to Thank everybody. You. This is because this is what I do for a living. I don't okay. even know if you know what I do. No. I paint furniture and signs and I'm about an ambassador for this stencil company. Yeah. So we're on live on their page right now. Just wave. Yeah. G'day. He's the best courier, guys. He's so faithful. Thank you. And I wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, you're a legend. Thank no you worries. very much. I appreciate so that. So good. Legend. All right. Have an See awesome like New Year. Awesome yeah. Bye bye. 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 Thanks a lot. You can watch me live later on my page. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Was <laughs> that funny or what? Look at me carrying cameras. Come oh. on, you. Celia's carrying the cameras, the microphones. <laughs> I'm still watching it back because the live is like a little bit delayed. Yay! That's so exciting. We did it. Little happy jazz band. Oh my goodness. How fun. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. You can see my messy workshop now, guys. Oh gosh, how fun. All right. Oh, can we still workshop. see comments? <laughs> Hi Chris, everyone's waving to Chris. Yeah. That was so fun, guys. It's so fun giving. And my stencil is still stuck on here, ready to go. He's still out there getting getting his act together. Yes. <laughs> I can Stunned. hear him. Yeah. Oh. I'm so glad that worked. All right, back to the live. <laughs> that was hilarious. I was kind of hoping, but you know, sometimes he comes at different times of the day, but lately it has been sort of, you know, around 11-ish, so <laughs> that's funny. Yay! Go Chris. He is such an awesome career guy, I tell you. <clears throat> Legend, he says. Yes. <laughs> all right, so I've done my stencil. I've got to get my act together. I'm feeling all... excited. <laughs> a little excited. Um, that's the spirit of Christmas. Guys, it just does that to you. So give, give, give a surprise gift to somebody today and make their day. Make a sign with essential stencils and give it away. And let us know, guys, if you're in the stencil club, pop your stencils on there. Isn't that gorgeous? That worked out quite well. I do like that. Act justly. Micah 6 verse 8. Let's go on with our second one. Um, and I'll just use the same tags. Is there any other questions, guys, while we're here? about stenciling. Now I'm going to kind of have to let this one go in on the same spot. So I've just put that verse where it says Micah 6 verse 8 right here. So I've taped them just where you can see the letters coming in close to the edge there. I don't know if I'm in mm -hmm. one place. Yep. Um, so that I don't get the brush marks over the edge. Was there a question that I had half answered when all that kind of happened? <laughs> I had a little secret surprise gifting for Chris. Um, I think that's all right. I think it's about um, fusion having a sale, that kind of thing. But you might all right. I think I covered all that. Mm. Yeah, good. <clears throat> they love your place. Cute house. Lovely Oh, workshop. yes. Guys, um, I'll take you around to my workshop in just a little minute. I'm going to show mm. you some things I've been working on um, on my own page this week, uh, doing lives on I Restore stuff. I've been restoring furniture with milk paint, so that's been a lot of fun. So I'll show you the piece that we're working on. We'll just get this one done and get these stencils done but look how quick this is seriously if i'm just doing this without um explaining as i go and everything it just is a super quick let's see how far this brush goes so just making sure see i like the these brushes because they're quite a soft bristle they're not really a natural bristle they're a synthetic bristle and their each end is tapered so they do but I haven't loaded any more paint on the brush 
and it's using this little swirly method, I find that it's going on really well. The stippling method, I find you need either a bit more on the brush or, um, I don't know, I just can't get that to work as well. But I still haven't loaded any more on the brush and we're still going, guys, so this is all just one. And is fusion paint on a pillow cover, is it washable? Yeah, I've done that plenty of times. But what I usually do, it's any acrylic paint really, if it's water-based acrylic paint, um, you can get fabric paints. But yeah, I've used Fusion on plenty of linen, pillowcases, uh, tea towels, all those kind of things, T-shirts even. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I heat seal it. So I flip the pillowcase inside out or just put it reverse side down so that you're not ironing onto the print and just iron it with a hot iron. A hot dry iron, I must say, to be specific, a hot dry iron and it will go on nicely and it will stay there and be washable. I've actually used some of Fusion's metallic paints to make a stenciled t-shirt and that, you can see that on my blog post, uh, my website, if you just go to my search bar on irestorestuff.com you can look up a whole bunch of things. So just look up um, stenciled t-shirt or metallic t-shirt and you'll find that blog post about me stenciling t-shirt. There you go. That was super quick. Mm -hmm. And I like the way the background of the sign is quite rustic. So my edges are fairly sharp there. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. No bleeding under. Well, I hope. I haven't got my glasses on. But as far as I can tell, we haven't got any bleeding under. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's because we used a really dry brush. I did that there and watch the brush still. It's got a tiny weeny bit on it if I do that. That's the only... As that's enough for what you need to stencil. So, it's amazing. <clears throat> so we've got Act Justly, Love Mercy. Is it okay to use untreated wood if you're going to stain it, paint it, seal it? Untreated wood? Yep. Yeah, raw wood, right? Yep. Yeah, I use raw wood all the time, and if you're going to stain it, yep, that's mm -hmm. great. You can stain raw wood because... raw wood for staining so mm -hmm. that's the best and do you sell the brushes <clears throat> I do in Australia if you're in Australia I sell cling on brushes I think I've had them on my supply list mm -hmm. in other times I can't remember if I added it to this supply list today I don't know if cling on's got that yet I did send you an email essential stencil so I don't know if they've posted that there yeah. so and oh, we'll the that half answered then. question was about the brush not holding much paint Hopefully we've answered that by now. Yeah, so just my brush bristles, the brushes that I use, their bristles are quite, have I got that in shot? Yep. Um, they're quite dense, so especially when they're pulled together tightly. So I think that some of the more the natural bristle brushes may not be as dense, I don't know. Hmm. And these ones feel softer, whereas these ones feel a bit more bristly, mm. if that makes sense. So, but try them all. Try all the different kinds. See what you think works for you. Now, I can't remember. Did I dip and just offload then? Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we had there a we freeze go. for a moment there, but I think we're all good again. Please. Oh, cool. All right. Thank you. Yep. Hopefully, internet is strong for everyone today. Um, yes, so we're on to our third little piece here to make this set. Now, this set is the Mica 6 verse 8 stencil set it's such a gorgeous little threesome you can do even some of these just by themselves you know love mercy mm. what a statement walk humbly mm. that's a great statement so they can just be standalone stencils if you wanted to give out little gifts to people or give them out as a set so just doing some gift ideas and don't tell my friends but they might be getting these for christmas mm. Okay, so I do need to load a bit more on the brush because it's just getting a little bit thinner right there where I've stopped. But yeah. the idea is less on your brush and you don't get bleed through. And I always say, which I haven't said yet on this live, so here we go, I'll say it again. What was I going to say? <laughs> less, less is more. <laughs> less. less is best because you can always add more on, but it's really hard to get rid of the bleed through once you've got the bleed through on there. So see, I've hardly got any... On the brush, mm. now do a little bit of swirling. Good to go. 
And can they buy the brushes from you in the US? Uh, not from me in the US, but you just have to look up Klingon mm. is the name of the brand. Klingon. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> there's a distributor in Canada and they're also distributed in the US. So Klingon brushes. Just mm. look up that brand. Um, you'll find them on Amazon. I do have an Amazon link in my past, mm. what do you call them? Lists. Supply lists. Yep. List. Mm. Very helpful, helping me with my words. <laughs> I just, sometimes you just get these mental blanks. Oh, like, yeah. oh, what's that word? Yeah. Hey guys, give me a break. I'm turning 50 next year. There, I've said it. I've said it. Woohoo! And I, that's it, in February, so it's going to be quite the celebration. Woohoo! Yep. And that's the month that I'm coming out with my design for the Stencil of the Month Club. So I'd love you to join me in the Stencil of the Month Club. You can join for one month. Two, uh, three months or six months and if you use the code I restore stuff you'll get five dollars off your first month so there's that mm. all right <clears throat> I think we're finished our little These sign set so quick <clears throat> and easy and really looking good <clears throat> and don't go anywhere because we've got prizes to give away and I was just going to if you're interested give you a sneak peek of some things I'm working on in my workshop here right here in Australia I'll give you a little tour. Yes. So we've got Act Justly, Love Mercy, and Walk Humbly. Mm. That's what I was going to say before, is that if you've got... So these one, this one looks sort of fairly rustic, mm. but grab the sanding off. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to just distress them a little bit more so it's not so stark and it looks a bit more rustic, then I just use my sanding glove to just give it a little... With, uh, you know, I would use sort of like a 320 grit sandpaper and just roughen up the surface just slightly, really lightly, because you can always take more off, but it's a bit harder to go back and re stencil it. Well, you can, but you know, it's less effort if you can just do it that way. So, see how I don't know if you can see that there, see mm -hmm. how it's a little bit more we rustic than, than that one. I'm happy yes. with that one. Right. And I'll just scuff this one just slightly because it's rustic. We don't want it looking all brand new looking. I love the farmhousey look. Yeah, we all love the town. That's great. Yeah, so you can get those at Essential Stencil using the supply list or the link that we've got there. Hopefully it's pinned to the top somewhere. If not, mm -hmm. we'll go find it. Um, and that's our little activity today. Hope you learned some great stenciling tips. Celia is going to pick some prize winners, but first let's just have a little look around the workshop. Mm -hmm. um, have you got some? I have. Okay, so I'll just show them around our workshop yeah. for a second. So we'll just have to use the camera to do that. <laughs> Sorry. Can you take it off or do you want me to? Oh, you can do whichever way you like. Okay. Just this, we can just... Okay. We will now have some technical hitches. Why? No, you won't. You're going to do great. <laughs> here we go. Your microphone. Okay. All right. So I was just going to show you this piece over here. If Gotta you get go onto my I Restore Stuff page, you'll be able to see that I was working on this. Now, this is an old, a family dresser. This is the microphone, so I have to probably put this over here. I'll just drag it over here so you can hear me better. Mm -hmm. um, it's an old family dresser. I remember this dresser being in my room when I was in high school. So um, I've painted it with Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint in the colour typewriter. And I show you exactly how to do that over on my live on my page. Then I went over it with a hemp oil finish. These are the original wood of the drawers with a, I think it was an old shellac finish, which mm -hmm. I kind of just sanded back a bit and smoothed that down to just still keep a little bit of the shellac look. But what I want to do with this raw top is to try and match it. Now that's going to be really tricky. Don't know if I'm going to do it. So you can watch that live. I think I'm going to go live on my I Restore Stuff page tomorrow to show you how I can try and see if I can match that to the top, to the drawers. This is wood here, but black all here. It's a really nice, it's called typewriter because it's like those old typewriters that are kind of got that charcoal-y black look to them. So I left this stained wood and wood and I want to get the top to match. So that's going to be my trick. We're also working on these crossback chairs that used to look like this. Mm -hmm. And Celia has helpfully, helpfully, is that a word? Yep. Has been yep. so helpful 
in painting these. These are going to go, and I'm putting fingerprints over. Uh, so that's coal black infusion. So that's really a fun colour to use. So those are just a couple of things we're working on in the workshop. We've been uh, doing this whole bedroom suite. So that's a dresser that used to belong to my sister-in-law from the USA. So it came all the way out to Australia. And so we've glazed that with fusion mineral paint glaze. So you can show, see that technique if you want that link. Um, just jump over on my page and I'll show you that. Another dresser we're working on. I've just done a video on how to remove these vintage handles without breaking them because I found that sometimes you can lift up these edges and they'll kind of either snap the nails or, or um, crack the metal plate. So I've worked out a way how to remove them and they involve some tools. I've just done a video of that and posted it on my page too. And these drawers belong to this dresser, which is still a work in progress. So there you go. There's some things on my, we won't show them all the messy stuff. No, 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 no. And all of my um, fusion mineral paint line, milk paint line, they are all what goes out in the packages via Chris, the courier guy, if you've just joined us on the live. We did a fun giveaway today a surprise secret Santa giveaway to my courier delivery guy who picks up packages from me, takes them to the right place every day, well, nearly every day of the week. Um, he's just fantastic. So uh, without further ado, oh, we, yeah. we have some prize winners. <laughs> Hopefully Celia's got them picked already. Hi. You're so good at this. Thank you so much. It takes the pressure off. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> our three winners today are Cindy Longman Henderson. Cindy, you're a winner. Robin Shin. Robin, congratulations. And Jimmy Wright Edge. And Jimmy, congratulations. You're winners today for our live giveaway, and you have won something from Essential Stencil. So you'll need to email them at support at essentialstencil.com. If you missed that, it's all the details are in our live link. I mean, in our live description at the top of this live. So, someone's asked about the sanding glove. Yes, you can get that in Australia, but it's not unfortunately over in the USA. It's in Europe. You can get it if you're in the UK and Europe. My auntie invented that. It's really awesome. So, guys, um, that's all for today, folks. And gosh, I'm not sure if I'll be here next week. It's Christmas. It's Wednesday. Christmas is Wednesday, so it I is. won't be here because today is Thursday for me, and so you'll be busy Christmasing. Mm. So I don't think I'm doing a live next week, but I'll see you in the new year, that means. So Merry Christmas, everybody, from yep. Australia. Merry stay Christmas. Stay warm, <laughs> and I'll stay cool. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.